Well, okay, so we're going to have a look at John, this guy called John Kansas, who makes some hydrogen gas out of seawater. Seawater. Or is it canal water? Or Absolutely. is it tap water? Or is it just the impurities? Or is, it water? or is it just the impurities in the water? Well, let's let's find out later. We've done some own hydrogen demo. Yeah, we've uh, which well, is hence to this, and you thought things couldn't get any better because be, these people would be so wrong. Absolutely, we yes. Have a look of course, we can have a look at a fundamental natural process which is called leaching. Leaching. Now, people Absolutely. really have to understand these natural processes, like. Heating something up. Heating something up, absolutely. But also adding water. adding water. Adding water. Soaking something in absolutely. water. Absolutely, leaching. We're going to have a look at some copper carbonates. Some copper carbonate. Oh, it's so it's, exciting, it's, everybody. It's so, we've got so much to do. Copper carbonate, because when you heat copper carbonate, it turns black. It turns and black. people think, well, it goes black because of this. Absolutely, yeah. We have an explanation why it goes black. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And of we're also going to have, if, if we get time, time of course, to have a look at some Trieste Challenger Deep. Challenger Deep. Deep. We're going because to the depths all of, of the ocean. It, in ninety, if my if my dates are correct, there, Pete. In nineteen, in one year, it went from it went down one point four kilometers. If we get time, by the way. Yeah, hold on. It went down from one point four kilometer. It went down to 1.4 kilometers deep under the surface. And then some 10 years later, it went down 11 kilometers. How amazing, amazing. was that? Yeah, 1. in all that time. Right down to 11. I always thought they'd do anything these things. in between. Yeah, I would have thought they'd do these wow. things gradually. You know? Yeah, I would. Make, yeah. It would make sense well, to me. Oh, you know? yeah, because you want to test it. Because the last thing you want to do is get your whole submersible filled with water, do you? Well, of course, that would defeat the object to, of get, the going down there, really. Get to a point where you can't come up. But anyway, let's go on and annoy some people. Uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. back again annoying people with truth because because a lot of people oh a lot of people dislike truth yeah loads Especially of people when it involves the heart the matter of the heart absolutely so found heart. out that your wife's been shagging some some bloke like, for work. the past 20 years at you're work, obviously yeah. not going to like the truth oh no i can't i can't tell what to, can't tell what he'll do is not he'll, he'll get a divorce Oh, well, yeah. You know, that means you've got to lose the house. Got that means you've got to lose the house. What the kids going to think as well? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. All these things people think about. Absolutely. The the implications. The implications of their deeds. Absolutely, yes. Of their evil deeds. Well, you can't really call them evil, evil deeds. No, no. Yeah, well, I'll take just, that back. It wasn't evil deeds, but well, of their deeds. Deeds, yeah, basically. Maybe. If I, was re if I was religious, I'd use the word sins. Sins. Oh, right, yeah. Sins. Absolutely. But uh, that's what sins mean, basically. Well, where's Jesus Actions and behaviours that go against life, that are destructive. Absolutely. Like this guy who eats metal parts. Metal absolutely, of course. Cars. But uh, before He's we even get... eaten a Cessna aeroplane. Absolutely, of course. But uh, before we get going uh, on a very good, wholesome diet, uh, we, we've got to do our song. Song, um, absolutely. Today... For everyone's pleasure, we thought we'd or do pleasure, John Lennon <laughs> and uh, John Lennon and working class, working class heroes. Yeah, right. So if you fancy joining in, please feel yeah. free to do feel so. Free. If you don't, don't worry about it at all because I won't lose sleep yeah. over it. And remember, you're off down the pub later to get the As pissed. soon as you're born, they make you feel small. Yeah. With your birth certificates. By giving you no time to study it all. Yeah, we want it all. Oh. Till the pain is so big, you feel nothing at all. A working class hero is something to yeah. be. Come on, lads, let's get down that. I'm not voting Labour. Come on, let's get pushed. A working class hero is something to be. What's on TV, love? They hurt you at home and they hit you at school. Well, all these working class heroes. 
They hate you if you're clever and they despise oh, yeah. you. Oh, they hate you when you're clever. Oh, mm. yes, they're flat people in general, yeah. To be so fucking crazy, mm. you can't follow oh, their rules. But their rules are crazy anyway. Working class hero with something to be. All their rules. Around money. Working class hero with something to be. Yeah, come on, lads, let's get down that pump. Get when they taught you and scared you for 20 odd years. School. Is that through the education system? system? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Then they expect you to pick a career. Yeah, they do. They I want to be a scientist or a teacher. Oh, right, right. When you can't really function, you're so full of fear. A working class hero is something to be. Hit it from the top there, John. Come on. A working class yeah. hero. Come on, lads. Let's go and watch the match on Saturday. Rovers are Keep playing. you doped with religion and sex and TV. Yeah, what about football? Politics. All of it. And you think you're so clever, classless and free. You're still a human being. An animal. But you're still fucking peasants, as far as I can see. Last time. A working class hero is something to be. A working class hero is something to be. There we go, thank yeah, you so much. Yeah. There we go. Well, and Mr. Johnny Lennon. Lennon. Yeah. And working class Plus hero. hero. Yeah. Absolutely. But what then one thing that people fail to realise is that even people up top work. Absolutely. They're people working up class. Lots of people work. Getting out of bed right. is work. work. Brushing your teeth, teeth is work. work. You've got to exert effort. Mm. This is all work. So everybody, even the Queen, the Queen has to. She must. Mum, you must. She has to get dressed in the morning. She has to attend certain functions she, when every she was, year. When she had her period, has she to. had to change her tampons. Absolutely. Do you think she got one of her ladies in waiting to change her tampons Pons? for her? I don't think, I think so. so. Absolutely. And do you think she wipes her backside? I would think she probably would wipe her own, own backside. backside. I don't Thanks. think she'd like to have all of her independence taken, taken away, away from, from her. her. Absolutely. I mean, you know, when well, you, no, people, people love their own independence, you absolutely, know. Absolutely, yes. You know, when you can walk, when you can um, do things yourself, this is, this is what people tend to overlook. Absolutely. Because a lot of people get to a point in their life when they, can't, when they have to depend on other people, people to be fed, to go out for a walk. To have because your backside. you can't walk because you're have, in a wheelchair. To have someone wipe your backside. Absolutely. Our uh, independence from other people is so, so important and the people who've got lots and lots of money would not want to give that up because they pay someone to do things for them. Absolutely. Like wipe their backside. Oh, right, yeah. Pick their nose. Humiliating nose. Absolutely. Mm. They wouldn't want to do this one. Absolutely. So even they, these people have to work. Absolutely. Exert effort mm. themselves. They've got to work hard. Absolutely. Anyway, of but uh, let's get on because some have people a look at may this disagree let's with that. But let's have a look that's at this guy. Opinion, of course. Absolutely. Let's have a look at this guy who's... who's He's oh, showing to people John how he Kansas. makes absolutely yes, how he makes hydrogen. No, I'll click that window off. I can click that off, and we can go on here. Here we go. Now this is oh, I forgot to mention we are going to talk about pearls as well. Pearls because pearls bigger. are very similar to kidney so, stones. Kidney stones, gall stones, absolutely. But uh, John Kansas turned seawater into clean fuel. Really, this video was uploaded in 2014. Okay, and as I had many comments, oh, but, we got uh, this in from Ronald this, Janssen. Ronald Janssen gave us a, a link to this because he couldn't work out how it, how it was actually it's achieved. achieved. How was this actually achieved? So we'll watch the video, and then we'll uh, criticise it uh, uh, educationally, of course, of course, absolutely in our own way. This machine can do. I scooped up some salt water from the canal behind his home and brought it into his garage, where his radio frequency machine sits. So I'm just going to take this water. How, how much do you want me to pour in? All the way up. All the way up to the top. Okay. He grabbed a paper towel and put it in the test tube to act like a candle wick. So all that's in this test tube right now is the salt water I just took from your backyard. Right. And a paper towel. Paper towel. He put the test tube in the machine, then turned it on. You got it? Pretty neat, huh? The paper towel amazingly didn't burn. 
Kansas says in these experiments, the flame reaches a temperature around 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see the bubbles boiling at, at the top of the water as it comes down. He performed the same experiment two more times without the paper towel to show that the salt water can burn without anything else in the test tube. The white there, see the steam coming out? And Kansas has shown the experiment to a handful of scientists around the country who claim they're baffled at watching salt water ignite. A chemist told Kansas that the energy released is in fact hydrogen, that the heat breaks down the hydrogen-oxygen bond in the water. You could then take plain salt water out of the sea and put it in containers and produce a violent flame that could heat generators that, make, that do make electricity or, or provide other uh, forms of energy. May 16, 2007. Engineers working with Kansas and Erie, Pennsylvania are trying to harness the energy. They built an engine that when placed on top of the flame, chugged along for two minutes. But Kansas admits all this excitement was a stroke of luck. Someone who witnessed his work on the cancer front asked him if perhaps the machine could be used for desalinization. This was just an experiment to try to see whether I could heat salt water. Instead of getting heat, I got fire. So could this become an alternative source to creating power? If I would be bold enough, I would probably guess that uh, you can power an automobile with this eventually. Right. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Well, I, 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 I don't know about, uh, yeah. put, um, what was it, uh, powering an automobile? Yeah, a bit similar to um, Stanley Mayer, isn't it? A, a bit similar to the Stanley Mayer thing, but uh, we'll, we'll replay. Now, the guy actually gets this um, water, gets a sample of water from the canal. Well, he says canal water. He says canal water from the, the back of his garden, yeah. or behind his garden, at the bottom of his garden, I should say. So, he, he, um, so it's salt water. They're saying it's salt water. Now, our understanding, the water looks very clean, so what is possible is that it's a solution of salt water. Salt water. So yeah. they've got a sample of canal water filtered it and they've added sodium chloride it's possible yeah, it's possible yeah it's possible so we've got anyway. to realize that there's sodium and chlorine or chloride within the yeah. uh but one thing water but one thing it's not clean water it's not clean, clean water. water okay it's That's not something clean water we all have to remember so it's not clean water there's something in the water and you use salt okay you use salt as an electrolyte okay with electrolysis yeah. So, so, so let's carry on. So he fills the test tube, but pops in his uh, tissue, tissue paper. paper. The tissue paper is going to absorb and soak up a percentage of the water solution. Yeah, well, the which, solution. Yeah, which is why the toilet, the the paper, the tissue paper doesn't catch but, fire because the water is it's wet. It's because wet. the water content is preventing it from burning. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's a light there. Now I think there was a bit of trickery going on here at the video, because when the bloke switched it on. Uh, let's have a little look. Yeah, I'm sure there was a bit of trickery here because every time he's got to light it manually oh, right, yeah. using a, some kind of igniter, whereas here, because of the camera, um, the way it's been edited, as soon as the guy switched it on, um, it was um, it it suddenly seemed to light up there. You, oh, well, it gives yeah. you the, the impression. impression. But we think here what there's a there must be an, an igniter. Yeah present there which is hidden behind there maybe some wise electrical um, yeah because all you need is a spark all you need is a little spark oh. spark can be generated very easily um so there's it burning away well see here this one he actually he actually uses he a, uses a, a flame a flame so i can't see it. how the paper can self-ignite self -ignite, yeah. you know you know but um so our well, can cause ignition you know yeah. so our understanding of what is happening in this demonstration is simply all you have is elect electrolysis of the solution without the electrodes without the electrodes absolutely that's all it is yeah um the whatever his sound frequency machine is doing is electromagnetic wave machine or whatever essentially what it's doing is that it's decomposing the salt in the water to produce your hydrogen to release the hydrogen. to release the hydrogen sorry and um, the because it burns yellow, that gives us tells us that it's sodium, sodium based. Absolutely. So the uh, machine heated up the water, which then was able to release the sodium hydrogen gas. Loosely use yeah. that word loosely. See it burning there, yellow. yellow. And he was then able to light the vapor that was coming off from the tissue paper. paper. 
you know, so that's our understanding. That's our understanding of, of what's going on in this demonstration. demonstration. Electrolysis, electrolysis without the electrodes. Without the electrodes, and I mean it works really well. But I mean for practical purposes, on you know what, what you're going to use, what, it how you can apply this. Yeah. Yeah, because we're beginning to realise that it's you, all right doing things like this. It's all right doing things like this, but you can have you can have something that is going to benefit mankind, but there's no money in it. Yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. There's no money in it, and this is the big problem. All of our, all of the society, is built around money. money. Yeah. If there's no money in something, so if not having it, it's not going to go anywhere, no. is it? It could be fantastic and help people so much. No, sure. But if no. no one's throwing money in it, it's not going anywhere, is it's it? Not going anywhere. Unfortunately. So there we go. So that's welcome uh, to John the globe society. Absolutely welcome to the globe society. society. Yeah, but John Kansas turns well, turns salt. Salt into clean fuel. Absolutely. Essentially, this is what well, it breaks down salt. Breaks down salt, salt. into clean wall, clean into fuel. hydrogen and absolutely yeah. into hydrogen and chlorine. Into hydrogen and chlorine. I don't know where the chlorine was. Well, I don't know where that would. Have well, it gone. may have, it may have turned into hyperchlorite. Oh, hyperchlorite. Oh, that, oh, it could have been. Yeah, it could have been. Bleach. It could have been. It could have soaked into the paper. Quite, possibly, yeah, possibly, possibly, and because it's heavier, sodium hyperchlorite. It? Yeah. That's because it's, it's heavier. The, the yeah, because the hydrogen is lighter, so it will it will come. Or through. Should, could you say that the chlorine is more compact? But isn't it interesting from what's in that demonstration how the impurities yeah. are able to transmute through the tissue paper? The tr impurities mm. are able to transmute, mig yeah, migrate. Sorry, migrate yeah. really, not transmute through the toilet tissue paper or through the tissue paper, and he was able to light them. Absolutely. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? But anyway, absolutely. It just goes to show migration is very, very, very observable. And what? And, and nobody studies it. Nobody studies nobody migration, studies of, migration substances. of substances in, in other mediums. mediums. I know. In in chemistry as well. Nobody, nobody, nobody it's ridiculous. It. But we've also got uh, just to add a bit of weight. So all you people out there who think water is made of hydrogen, hydrogen oxygen, oxygen right. you can go and because do one. Get on your bike, mate. Okay. As it were, Mr. Kansas. Just use some water, clean water. Don't put any salt in it. Will you get the same results? Absolutely. Yeah, we got. Uh, we've watched no. uh, not that one. We watched. Yeah, we we come across this one making hydrogen with magnets. magnets yeah. You know, so this guy's showing off basically what he can do with this little gadget that gadget. he's designed. It's you know, levitating. It's le allegedly levitating, but we don't think it is at all. It's, well, it's, it's springy. It's, it's yeah, but there's a magnetic field, field between there. that yeah. and the plate. Yeah, I'm sure it is. That's yeah. why it's bouncing up. You know, yeah. I mean, what he do? Well, what's he going to do? Make a make a flying chair from it. But he won't be able to move anywhere, would yeah, he? I don't know. You know, he's not. It's, no, anyway. it's not moving, is it? Yeah, no, no, but anyway, you know what I mean? it may be he could design a magician's uh, kind of apparatus. Oh, right, yeah, you know, for one of his tricks. For one of his tricks, tricks yeah. you know. But uh, the guy goes on and talks about this thing that he's uh, making. So he's fuel cell. A, a fuel cell, essentially, you know. So, but there's an electrolyte in the water. Hmm. Which is decomposing. Which is decomposing through the um, electrolysis, if I can use that word very loosely, hmm. through the electrolytic process. Nothing special, special at all. At all. No, nothing. Sorry. There's nothing special about these. It's there's there's nothing special. miraculous. Yes, yeah, no. You cannot get hydrogen and oxygen solely from, from water, water alone. Because no. water is not hydrogen and oxygen. And in my, our opinion, absolutely. My biggest gripe about the whole issue. A lot oh, no, of people, yeah. A lot of people think water is hydrogen and oxygen, and we don't. And my big, my biggest gripe. Uh, concerning that is essentially they say they say that you need an awful lot of energy to split the hydrogen and oxygen that make up water yeah mm. an awful lot of energy these and alleged yet, bonds and yet you only need at least one and a half volts potential difference potential difference in your electrolytic cell okay to 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 then split hydrogen yeah, and oxygen make sense, does it? in the water doesn't make sense yeah. at all. Well, it's been like the Trieste. It went down, the furthest it went down was 1.4 kilometres. Absolutely. And then the next thing, it's 10 years later. No, that was uh, that was Pete, oh. Mr Barton, wasn't it? He went down. Oh, sorry, yeah, he, he went yeah, down. he went down. Thank you. He went down 1.4 kilometres. And then the 11, Trieste, 10 years, 11 later, years later, went down 11 kilometres. 11, 11 kilometres. 11. Look at amazing. the difference between amazing. the two. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Something's not quite right there. Absolutely. But anyway, so we've done that. What's our next one then, Peter? Should we do Let's have a look at some uh, let's have a look at some uh, pearls. 
some pearls, pearls very quickly oh, while we're up pearls. here pearls yeah. now we did a video about uh gallstone well we, we included in a video gallstones and kidney stones and we're saying that they and come... cuddy tom left a comment about yeah. um kidney stones and he mentioned pearls he, he mentioned pearls but it's our opinion our opinion okay that um um these come about solely through the ingestion of inorganic materials in our diet through our drinking water and everything else okay now pearls uh, that are made by oysters okay we're all familiar with uh pearls made by oysters i'm trying to waiting i'm waiting for you to oh, uh, so that i can yeah. oh here we go yeah a pearl is a hard glistening object produced within the soft tissue specific specifically the mantle of a living, living shelled living mollusk an organism so living. it's an all so you've got an organic uh, organism okay giving off something that's inorganic okay yeah. okay, okay yeah. Uh, such as uh, blah 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 just like the shell of a mollusk a pearl is composed of calcium carbonate mainly aragonite or a mixture of aragonite and calcite blah 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 now all you need to know about these um, things is how they're actually made how the how does the oyster make the pearl creation so uh, we're on here oh, yeah. okay all shelled mollusks can by natural processes natural processes yeah. produce some kind of pearl oh. when an irritating microscopic object becomes trapped oh, within its mantle folds, folds. oh but oh. the great majority of these pearls are not valued as gemstones yeah okay because they're not perfectly round in shape and all this yeah, stuff. it's not what man wants Absolutely, but I'm sure they can they can make them round these pearls. Yeah, possibly. But the point is, is that it's some kind of foreign. irritating foreign object, foreign object that gets trapped within the mollusk, Absolutely. and then the mollusk produces these kinds. It of... It basically spits it out. You know, yeah, it, basically. You know, it basically regurgitates it out. You know, it's it's like if you ate something that wasn't palatable to your uh, stomach. And you vomited it back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of the same kind of um, process yeah. that goes on with the with the, with the oyster, but uh, essentially it's it's an inorganic material. Because, Absolutely. And it comes from inorganic yeah. stuff. So there's no reason why chalk in your drinking water absolutely is going to go into your body you're going to digest and it's going ingested. to lay around somewhere and like lay around in your kidneys or your gall and, uh, and build up and build up and build up get compressed and form a stone because your body form a little stone your body will trap it there that's what absolutely of course because and it'll be very hard and painful what, what your, what to weigh it out what does your kidney do uh, it doesn't it um, it cleans the blood cleans the blood absolutely you know, you know yeah, I know, yeah, you know. So you, you don't find a, a stone in your lung, do you? Absolutely. So, obviously, the, the moral of the story, and that is do not eat chalk. Absolutely. Don't go down to you, to WH Smith, your stationers, and, buy and chalk, chalk and have it for your for dinner. dinner. Absolutely. You know, it's not good for you. Not good for you. Anyway, so how these people were managed to do eat cars and planes and all this kind of stuff. I don't know. It does right. make you think anyway, whether it's actually real. Well, no. Whether these let's have a, let's real. have a look at... Uh, oh, right, yeah, even they could be a load of rubbish. rubbish. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't know. You don't know, do you? Let's anyway. have a look at leaching. Now, leaching. Now, everyone should be aware of leaching, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, we need to go this way. Well, now, do we need to go up our lime triangle? Ah, oh, now. Ah, oh, now. Yes, ah. Oh. Oh, yes. Now, let's get up our lime triangle. triangle. While I explain to viewers Wait what there, leaching is, get up. leaching is the process of soaking, soaking a substance in water. That's what leaching is, basically, at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Leaching is the process of soaking something in water. So here or, we have... Or a, adding water, anyway. Yeah. So here least. we have uh, our lime triangle. Uh, lime and triangle. we have lime at the top. There we go. And on the right, it's applied to it's, heat is applied in a kiln That's to produce activated lime, or what mainstream would call it, calcium oxide. Calcium oxide. Now, to deactivate that lime, all one has to do is leach it. Is leach it. Add water to it. Add water to it. And 
uh, with uh, calcium oxide. If you add water to calcium oxide, you get quite an exothermic reaction. reaction absolutely, a lot of effervescing, a lot of steam. Because the heat that's gone into making the calcium has oxide been is being released. Absolutely, that's happening. Nothing, nothing fantastic. Nothing amazing or wonderful. So the process of leaching is to deactivate su a substance. Deactivate a substance. Now, when you when you leach calcium oxide. Um, it's our opinion that um, what happens is that when you leach calcium oxide, they would tell you that you, you get calcium hydroxide once mm. that solution is able to dry out. Once the water's able to dry out, you'll, mm. you'll get calcium hydroxide. Which is what you've got in your image. Which is what I've got in my image, which if we go on to the image here. Now, this is calcium hydroxide, but this is, cal this is leached calcium hydroxide. Mm. Now, so you've gone a step back within the lime with within there well uh, this has been this well this is limestone this this really cycle. should be calcium hyd this could, should be calcium 2 hydrate oh right well, yeah this should yeah, be calcium mm. uh bihydrate is it yeah two. it could be yeah or yeah, calcium bi. this should be calcium 2 hydrate because this the the amazing thing about this is that this is un it's it's inactive it hasn't it's, been processed it hasn't been processed, processed. In other words, it doesn't. It's likely that it may not contain any oxygen at all. At all. Well, it doesn't. Absolutely, because we've actually um, when you leach electrolyzed. Some, oh, when you leach something, you're actually taking the oxygen out. When you leach something, well, the oxygen just goes somewhere. But we've actually um, electrolyzed calcium hydroxide. And uh, it's very, 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 very yeah. inactive. Absolutely. Um, you, it, it's very like, un unlikely to get much off at the anode, and which is where uh, it's common to get oxygen produced at the anode. But it's, uh, you know, it's very hard to get... Um, it's a very unreactive substance. Yeah, calcium, yeah. Because I'm sure we've done calcium. Have we done any other calciums? <laughs> yeah, we have done yeah, calcium. We've done calcium carbonate. Even that was the same. Even that was the same. Calcium, calcium's just a bit, you, there's not much you can do with it really, calcium. No, not really. Apart from heat it up and cool it down and buy it in water. Yeah, or make things look white. Or make things look white. But, the, 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 but the idea of leaching is that what happens when you leach something is that the substance actually gets harder. The substance actually gets harder. And this is Hence why. we see all in this little tub, we see, we see large chunks that have mm. stuck together. together. Yeah. Absolutely. Because that's what leaching does, is is that in some ways it does actually bring it things. helps to bind, bind. Yeah. Um, a substance. Now, when we, if we were to look at uh, um, concrete, when if we uh, make make out lay our driveways or whatever, and we make concrete, we had sand, we had cements, and we had the ballast, and we mix it all up with water. water. We're leaching that cement, okay, and. Basically, you know, we're mixing it all up, put it in a mould or lay it in our little framework, timber framework. And let it dry. And let it dry. It will we've, we've, go, hard. go hard, hard, rock hard like, like, like what we see here in, in the image. Hmm. So, you know, leaching, leaching is a very underestimated it's process. process. Mm. Leaching, deactivating Leaking substances. substances. Yeah. Absolutely, because it's amazing when you think about it, how things are able to bind together mm. just by adding water and soaking them. Yeah, and that's why, and, that, and that's another. Even reason. though they become deactivated. Yeah, and that's another reason why lime scale is so hard. Absolutely, lime scale because I mean, it's it's been leached. Absolutely, if we think it's a, if we think this is a hydrate, think about lime scale. How how much of a hydrate is lime scale? Oh, right, I yeah. mean, it's been soaked Decahydrate. in hydrate. It's been soaked in water for centahydrate. Yeah, it's been soaked in water for years. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, a lot of it. It's all well. So we can understand why it's so hard. But it's it's another amazing thing, is why it's so able to repel water. Why Absolutely. it's so dry. dry. How is it possible that this stuff can be dry so dry in water? water. Absolutely. Yeah. That's because it's just. That's because hard. it's insoluble. 
Absolve, right? That's yes, why. It's insoluble. Absolutely, of course. Right. They're just these pieces are just mm. so small we can't see them. Absolutely. But they're there. Yeah. They're there. Yeah. They exist. But anyway, they come exist. on. But anyway, let's so have, that's, let's that have a look at some, leaching. Let's have a look at some copper carbonate. So let's have a little look at some copper carbonate. Now, copper carbonate. Which one first? We do, yeah, we'll do this one, one first. <clears throat> now, decomposition of copper carbonate. Now, this is the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. Right. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> oh, okay. Now, they're, they're putting forward uh, their view on why copper carbonate decomposes okay. through heat. Okay. And, and it turns lime water to milk. And it turns lime water to milk. So let's have a little look at this. And here we go. When you heat a metal carbonate, the metal carbonate decomposes to give carbon dioxide and the metal oxide. We will heat a sample of copper two carbonate. As we heat the copper carbonate, the copper carbonate decomposes to give a characteristic black copper oxide. The carbon dioxide that is released is bubbled through lime water. The lime water is a solution of calcium hydroxide. The carbonic acid and the calcium hydroxide react to produce calcium carbonate, which is insoluble. The lime water turns cloudy because the carbon dioxide, as it bubbles through the water, produces carbonic acid. There you go. Not much of uh, not much. Not there. much there. Oh, not much there at all. Yeah, wait a minute. There we go. That's, That's it. it. Now. Um, all they're saying is that you heat the copper carbonate up, it's uh, well, you heat thermi a metal thermically carbonate. decomposed and you, um, you get um, uh, you a metal get oxide. carbon dioxide given off as, as a gas and you get copper oxide, oxide. Mm. as a product being that it's changed colour, it's gone black, yeah. so green to black and you get carbon dioxide given off. Now, we could obviously understand where they're coming from okay because we we see it here we see it's going black at the bottom yeah it's still green on top the lime oh. water is going milky so we yeah, can we're not going to focus too much on the lime water absolutely for now absolutely but this this is how we perceive um this process this, process. this is this, this is thermal decomposition this thermal decomposition now Let's watch very this is carefully. Great, this one. Heat okay, carbonate, let's watch very carefully. The heat's added. Now you see some condensation being sweeping across the in inner walls of that of glass, glass uh, test tube. Yeah. And if we look on the top left-hand corner very carefully, we can still see some condensation. Mm. It's still there. Mm. So all of this, while this is going on, it was still there. The lime water is a it's still there, and that's all you get. So, so there's that. Okay, let's watch another video. Thermal mm. decomposition of carbon. But this one's carbonate. This one's a bit better. This, this one. one's a bit better. Okay, um, there we go. I should have switched that off. That sound. Yeah. There we go. Uh, there we go. Playing, now the there copper carbonate's gone into the boiling tube. Boiling tube, and it's very pleasing to know that she's um, clamping it down in a horizontal position well, it's more it is, or less it is, horizontal it position. is tilted though slightly tilted now what she can do she's going to add some lot make up some lime water so, there we go and make up some lime water and put it in a beaker and just hold the beaker at the end of the boiling tube while the heat is applied to there the copper go. carbonate okay so she's lit the bunsen burner there you go she's swilling it around now watch the uh, condensation. condensation in the boiling tube. tube. This is the most important part. On the watch. right hand side of that stand. Right hand side, side. of the clamp. clamp. They get, now you can see yeah. how much water vapor, vapor has really formed. Formed just by heating that uh, oh, copper carbon. Now, now you and me both know. Now that. the copper carbon has turned black and she's taking it off the uh, clamp. There we go. Removing it from that. Now, can you see that long streak of black, black. there? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I can. Yeah. Well, now let me just check that. Let me just check that. That looked as if it was on the top, actually. No, she turned it around. Did she? Yeah. But watch. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's on the top. top. The black was on the top. Mm. That's interesting. But uh, well, just go. But just go back. Nonetheless, there we go. No, just go back when she was heating it up. There you go. Just want to see whether she's there. We go. 
So the lime water's gone milk. Now she's turned. Has she turned that around? I'm not, oh, no, she can't because. Wait a minute. She's she, gone, may have done. she may have done. She may have turned that around. You don't know, do you? Yeah. She looks as if she's turned that around, doesn't she? But anyway. But anyway. Anyway, carry on then. What, what's going what, on then, Peter, in our view? Well, in our opinion, what's actually happening here is that the copper carbonate contains moisture. Yeah, yeah. And the reason why it goes black in colour, because you can clearly tell it's going black. It's going black there, there of course, yeah. Let's play the, the other reason. Video. The reason why it goes black is because the moisture is leaving the and substance. You metal carbonate. Oh, yeah. That's why it's going black. Absolutely. See here, he's heating up the copper carbonate, and we can see the underside of it is going black. Black, absolutely. The, the the stuff on the top is remaining kind of green. Green, absolutely. But that too in time would go black. Would go black. So why is it going black? Well, something must be leaving it. Something like must be your, leaving. Uh, bit like your phlogiston. Phlogiston. Theory. Same kind of understanding that when you heat a substance up, something leaves, leaves the but substance. But what we're saying is that in this demonstration, it's moisture that's leaving. It's moisture. Carbonate. Absolutely. Now, some some people might think... I mean, oh, there could be other things as well, but ab absolutely, what yeah, makes it go blank is the moisture. Absolutely. And now, what what supports our view of, clearly, we've seen the condensation Station. form. Okay. Well, there's, there's evidence there. There's, there's evidence there. Okay. Absolutely. But what also is um, amazing, and that is when we actually do look at some um, copper carbonate, because when we go and find out where copper... Copper, copper carbonate comes from mm. that's when we can start understanding um, copper carbonate, carbonate yeah. and what's going on in this basic copper carbonate is a chemical compound more popularly called copper 2 carbonate hydroxide yeah, yeah, well. they only say hydroxide because there is moisture there's moisture present Absolutely. it is an ionic compound a salt consisting of the ions copper and salts of carbonate very, salts, and hydroxide and salts are very dun. salts are very uh, hydro they Hy like water. Hydrophilic. Hydrophilic. Well, they saturate. They'll water. absorb yeah. moisture. They'll absorb moisture. Yeah, they do like moisture. But the mo the name most commonly refers to the compound with formula Cu2, yeah, well, CO3, yeah. OH2. It is, it is yeah. a green crystalline solid that occurs in nature as the mineral malachite. Now, get this. You'll like this one. Let's have a look. Let's it's have a look. It's a malachite. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now, oh, here look we go. Look at that. Now, malachite. Now, let's have a little look at malachite. Mm. Especially, let's have a look at some images of malachite. Here oh, well, go. yeah. Here we go. Let's have a little look at some images. images. Now, oh, would you believe it? Now, would you believe it, people? There we go. Now, malachite. Now, let's have a look at this piece here. There you go. Look at that piece there. Mm. That, now, that piece is quite a nice little piece, that, isn't it? Now, it's got black in it. Oh, well, yeah. It's very dark, isn't it? It's very dark, isn't it? There, well, the they, malachite in that they, area. Do they say it's got green as well? Do green, they, black. Do they say Greeny black? Is it black or is it very, very, very dark green? Absolutely, yeah. But when you do actually look, look at this piece here that's uh, yeah. that held in the hand, you can see the black within the malachite, oh, yeah. as well as yeah. the green, the lightish green colour. So that would here, indicate to here. us that it's you possible. It here. That would indicate to us that it's oh, possible that there's moisture. Within these stones, absolutely, and the black part, and the black part are the areas drier. where are the driest areas of the stone of the stone, absolutely, and the green, the the lighter green areas are the wetter. Yeah, it's parts. a bit like it's a bit like plants. It's the opposite plant. The lighter a plant is, absolutely, of course, yeah. the less moisture it has in it. I mean, when you think about it, I mean, there's there's the trouble is, the trouble is, is that I wrote this down. On a on a tissue that what I wrote down on tissue paper. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I don't know where it's gone. But how do we know we've we're getting to a point where water can exist in places where we wouldn't think it existed? We're where familiar, it's imperceptible to human senses. It's absolutely, we 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 are familiar with water being a liquid. We're familiar with water being steam. We're familiar with uh, water being um, a solid ice. But how do we know water's present? When it's imperceptible to the human senses. Absolutely, yeah. When it's a gas. Absolutely. Mm. Or when it's in a substance that, you know, we cannot, um, we don't think it's there. Absolutely. Who'd think that, I mean, when we look at this malachite box, for example, 
Who'd think there's... Who'd think that there's moisture sure. within that box? Mm. That's if it's actually made of malachite. Absolutely, of course, yeah. Well, that one is as well, handcrafted. You look at that. I mean, oh, yeah. You, yeah. You've, got the, you've got this little moisture. malachite tumbled... Mm. This might be a bit small, but let's let's make it bigger. But you can you can see the dark areas in that. Mm. Yeah. So when we look at our um, decomposition here, and we watch the malachite going black, you know, well, it's no surprise, is it really? When you think, and we can we can clearly no see we can clearly see the evidence that the water is leaving. We can see the the evidence the water is leaving. <laughs> You know, it's like if you see a, if you see two guys run out of a, you hear a bit of commotion in a store, and you see a couple of guys run out, okay, carrying something, and they jump in a car and speed off. Yeah, you think, well, they've robbed the bank, hey. or they've or robbed, robbed the, the store. store. Yeah, this is the same kind of thing. We see the water depart. Yeah, so it must. Yeah, you know, it couldn't have come from the glass test tube, could it? Absolutely. But the 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 the, the best thing to understand is this is the good part. This is the Come on, hurry up, this is the great part. Run out of time. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. This is the great part. And that is you picked up on this, and that is well, because the water's left, what's gonna fill its space? Oh right, yeah, that's the point. Yeah. What's gonna fill its space? space? Mm. So you get water leave. And don't they call it copper oxide? Oh they do, yeah. They, they call, call it, it copper, copper oxide, oxide, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Because they're saying that it contains oxygen. They're saying that it contains copper oxide. So contains if, oxygen. It, if it contains oxygen, what? So what they're saying is that the water, the moisture's left, and then the here we go, hot oxide, dry copper, air, two oxide. Here we go. The hot dry air has replaced it. There you go. There's copper oxide. It's black. is is a black solid. It is one of the two stable oxides of copper. copper. Mm. The other being Cu two O or cuprous oxide. There you go. You know. So, so it's been collagenated. It's been collagenated, essentially. That's what essentially they're doing. Um, but one thing that's interesting is because what we, we, you and I both want to do a video on on heating, heating, absolutely, process yeah. of heating, because in our understanding, when something's oxygenated or collagenated, it normally goes white. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. It can be formed by heating copper in air, in air. Yeah. At around three hundred to eight hundred degrees, degrees centigrade. centigrade. Now it's our um, it's our opinion that each different substance will have varying degrees of um, will require diff differing degrees different degrees of heating in order to reach their collagenation. Basically, yeah. You know, yeah. obviously calcium yeah. requires an awful lot of heat, mm. whereas something like copper doesn't. doesn't. But then, if you heated copper up continuously for longer periods. Yeah. It may, in time, go white. What? Well, well, oh, it might do. Yeah, it may may well do. If you just kept on heating copper up and kept on Don't heating it. it up, heating it up, hmm. it might eventually go, go white. white. But anyway, that's something else <laughs> because it's gone past all of its stages of hmm. of development. Development, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's but that's something else for another day. But so, uh, there you go. That's, that's our understanding that of copper carbon and let's, let's thermal just, decomposition. Uh, and let's just show some uh, some uh, supporting. Uh, information oh. with charcoal absolutely yeah now um very quickly very quickly now all all this is showing is this is quite an interesting the presence of water essentially yeah, isn't it but this is a quite a, a an interesting series of videos yeah i'd recommend anyone to watch this i've made charcoal before but my head wasn't screwed on at the time and i wasn't taking into account what was actually going on mm. i think i was more interested in chopping up the wood but um um, yeah, um, the guy here is making charcoal, charcoal in a kiln, and essentially he's telling the, um, the, video, the maker. video recorder, the video maker, that there is water present in all of that steam. smoke, smoke that's rising up oh, from, steam. from the kiln. Okay, we have to bear in mind that water is present in wood, mm. and they're burning wood to a mm. certain degree. Okay, so one would expect, one would expect, expect. get it? Mm. One would expect water to leave, migrate. to migrate from the wood. wood. Mm. Now we've got evidence for this, of that happening. So listen go very on. carefully, here we go. go. <laughs> um, it would actually come out damp. Oh, right. And straight the shovel. This might be a bit that you have to cut out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you'll notice the shovel's soaking wet. Oh yeah. That is you can see it glistening with moisture. Yeah. So There you go. So so essentially <clears throat> Given, given that piece of information, yeah, what's happening there is it, the water that's contained in the wood, the moisture contained in the wood, is migrating from the um, wood, the kiln, and it's migrating up with the exhaust fumes of the burn. Mm. Now, if we actually look at a picture of some charcoal and reappearing, condensing on the on his colder, shovel, on his shovel. shovel. Mm. So it's not being destroyed. The water's just moving from yeah, one place, place to, to another. another. By heat. By heat, absolutely, yeah. Let's cool. just get a picture of uh, charcoal. Picture of charcoal. Just an image of charcoal. 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 My, uh, yeah. Come on, very quickly. Charcoal. 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 Very, an image, just an no, image. That's why I'm there, look, charcoal. There we go. Now, so in our understanding, this charcoal is dry. This has, charcoal contains no moisture. Contains no, no moisture. moisture. And hey ho, guess what colour it is? It's black. Bless black. And we're not saying that all substances that are black contain no moisture. Well, <laughs> well, well, I suppose, well, well, whatever. But all we're saying is that this contains a very, very small. Well, this contains no moisture. The moisture's left. The left. It's been, it's been. It's been, been it's been deleted. Sweated. It's been sweated out of it. If you yeah, know what I mean. Deleted. Really. Absolutely, of course. Yeah. yeah. So there you go, yeah. So that's that, anyway. And we, so, we did have a, a thought that the white goes black is uh, there was nothing able to replace it. Like in his wood, for example. Because if you heat wood oh, up and yeah, you burn wood, nothing. if you burn wood, it will go no, black I'll, and I'll then it will go white. Well, some, something has, because the water's left the substance, something has to replace Place it. Something has to replace it. But because when, there's a void there. Yeah, but where where he's what, what it is to make to make in this charcoal uh, uh, making um, demonstration is um, is is kind of questionable. Well, well, we yeah. haven't you know yeah. we haven't looked into it too much. But but you, know, you would agree that he's starving that he's preventing anything from getting it into absolutely that yeah sure charcoal. sure. So what does absorb into the charcoal? You know is but well, something for another time. Something for another time. Absolutely. Come on, let's but get on. That uh, that makes sense to me. Absolutely. So great video. If anyone wants to watch, there that, we go. we've got twelve Charcot. minutes. Uh, twelve best minutes to do it yourself. Obviously. No, no. So what else do we need to look at? Our, our main thing. Our main thing. Now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our main thing. Now, a lot of people. Well, I've got to go back on here. Haven't I? There you go. Our main thing is that. Uh, what was it? Now we've had. Um, we've had some. Well, if you thought things couldn't get any better, couldn't get any better, you'd well, be wrong because they can get better, actually, believe it or not. And um, to be honest with you, we've been messing around with some hydrogen. What we did was that we got some, um, we got some uh, a tub filled it with water and stuck in two electrodes of steel, mm. made made steel electrodes, mainly made of uh, uh, carbon, carbon or, and iron, iron ore. Or, and we uh, connected Coke. them up to a ele electrical power source, and we collected the gas at the cathode. Mm. Okay. Now, what we did with the gas at the cathode is that we um, essentially leached, um, bubbled it through, bubbled water. it to water. We scrubbed it, scrubbed it, and scrubbed mm. it, and scrubbed 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 it. Yeah. Okay. So there's. So we. This is our little scrubber. Okay. So the gas is in at the top. We collected the, the gas in the clear plastic bottle here that you see. Mm. And uh, once that was it over. full, we transferred it over to this and screwed it on the top of this bottle, which had water in it. Mm. And then essentially what we did was that we turned it over, over, you know, yeah. like this, passed it through for a, a good few days well, at least I'm sure this has been going for, for at least a whole week five days five, five days, six days. Yeah, nearly a week mm. now one of the most striking well, where, things yeah to, where my finger yeah, is there where you, that's where the water level was yeah the water that bottle that clear plastic bottle was full of gas yes, yeah. from the decomposition of the steel mm. and it like now filled now we can see the water level. And now we can see the water level. Now that tells us that 
that tell that could tell us a number of things that could tell us that the well you know hydrogen gas has has sat some of it saturated into the water no. okay some well, of, so. some people may think that um, what i reckon has happened is that the the gas has contracted it's possible the gas has contracted mm. absolutely because and the, as it's contracted it's compressed and you can see this is a, like a demonstration of us scrubbing it through because the the methods our logic is that if there is if hydrogen is pressure and the pressure contains impurities that burn mm. which would then give us our um, yellow flame or our red flame those impurities um our logic is by scrubbing through water it's is it possible? Can we take can the, we take the impur impurities. reduce the amount of impurities yeah. to produce just pressure? Sure. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Mm. What you know, because <clears throat> we've done it before and we've noticed a a significant difference, mm. haven't we, yeah. in the combustion? <clears throat> so th this is what we thought we'd do. Mm. So we wanted to. So we transferred this the the hydrogen. Let's call it hydrogen. Let's call it loosely. hydrogen loosely for now. The hydrogen in that clear plastic bowl. We transferred that. We transferred it over and, uh, to a smaller one. And in so doing, we did lose some. We did lose some. But we ended up with this small amount, maybe a third. The small bottle on yeah. the right is what's left of it. Okay? Mm. Is all what's left of it. <clears throat> and the bottle of the right, we don't need to show the bottle on the right, do we? The bottle on the left. The bottle on the left, do we? We only need to show the bottle on the on the right, yeah. On the right, really yeah. Need to show, yeah. So let's get over on here. So Because the bottom the bottom the bottle on the left was just a solution, uh, sorry, the gas obtained from the electrolysis of salt. Absolutely, salt. yeah, that we, we thought we'd leave for a couple of weeks. But Basically, yeah. So here we go. Well, uh, uh, try not to move too quickly. Right oh. Oh. Go on then. Yeah, there, there we go. So, so we got that one. We we did see. You should, you should show the the other lighting, the other bottle, so people can, can tell. Oh, sorry, right. Oh, now that's a good light. Now that <coughs> that is a good idea. Now this is yeah. Sorry, yeah. As a for comparisons pur purposes of comparison, this is this is the hydrogen from that we a got salt solution. a salt a salt solution, a random salt solution. Okay, that's been left yeah, for two for fine. just under two weeks. Uh, just so yeah, you get an idea on the difference that you, we're seeing. Okay, yeah, and we saw the flame go down, and there you see a little flicker, a small little flicker, which oh, yeah, is. Saw a nice purpley flame there. You know, I'm, no, I'm, no, no, I'm, no. Even I missed it as well. But so that we clearly, we clearly yeah, heard yeah. the squeaky pop. Even we I clearly heard the squeaky pop, totally and the squeaky that. pop. That flame colours so. Totally the squeaky pop is reminiscent of, or is indicative of, hydrogen. That's what they would pen. say. So let's just uh, and what what the, what do things go pop? Well, even you can you can even do this bottle. Absolutely, you can go like that. You can go pop as well when there's pressure there, when there's a, a pressure differential. Difference. Yeah, when there's pressure built up, you get a pop. Let's listen to this again. Not there. Too. Well, uh, trying not to move too quickly. Right there. Oh, go on then. Yeah, there we go. It was the, the, that was certainly not um, uh, the squeaky pop. pop. No, definitely not. Now, we recorded this using our other webcam. We're using our webcam. Okay, so here's the bottle, and this is much better. Okay, well, the this sounds is, this, better. Absolutely, this is much better. So let's just play this. Here we go. Well, there's enough there to, uh, to try not to move too quickly. Right there. Oh, go on then. The the, uh, the the actual I've got to play that yeah, again. Play actually, again. we've got to play that again because that was absolutely really really good. It was a lot. It was a bit like champagne cork. 
Absolutely, oh. popping out of a bottle. Yeah. Well, there's no squeaky pop. There's no squeaky pop, pop there. Mm. No, no, no. That was... No, Monsieur Lavoisier. No <coughs> now we keep we, up. <sighs> we took a still from the... We, we took this still from the, the first video we, mm. we saw. Okay. And we can see that straight away, uh, this is what happened before, really. It was all spent in one go. Yeah. There was no little fl flame lingering. lingering in the bottom of the bottle. It right. was all spent in one, one go. go. It was more forceful. Full. Yeah. Uh, the pressure exerted. I mean, this well, this was only a third full, full, the bottle. Oh, well, yeah, only third a full. A third full. Okay. That's the most important Born. part. Oh, yeah. A third full. Of and a yet, smaller bottle. Of a smaller bottle. bottle. Yeah, yeah, think about it. If we'd have had the whole bottle, yeah. you know, it would have been more than possible to have split the bottle. Well, possibly, yeah. Because I would... I would this was an explosion. Yeah, Essentially, right, this was an explosion. So what could have happened? So now we've got to ask ourselves what Monsieur could have happened. Was the, flame yeah. colour, have happened? the flame yeah. colour is more it's more white. Yeah. Right. We can't we can't see very much yellow. It's only round the outer it's edges. Outer edges. edges yeah. It's as if all the impurities have just been thrown out. Or there's fewer impurities. Or there's few, fewer impurities. So is it possible? That what we're seeing is um, a reduction of impurities. Yes. The gas is and more pressurized. It, absolutely, we're seeing hydrogen yeah. in a more pressurized yeah. state. And the reason why I think that is, is because when it was in the when we were scrubbing it through yeah, yeah. the bottle, scrubbing, it was contracting, and in so doing, it was compressing. Well, it, the, you see, the thing is, it's been kept in a very cold place because so that, it could that, have contracted. That it's possible. That gas. Or if we can call it a gas, that release was a lot more powerful. It, it was a lot more powerful. So if you see the thing is, if it's hydrogen gas, okay, if it's hydrogen gas, we should see the same thing whether it's scrubbed or not scrubbed. We should mm. only see. We shouldn't see an increase in its pressure that it's exerting. Oh right, well, yeah. we shouldn't yeah. see that. Mm. We should just see a difference maybe in the flame colour, especially just through. Scrubbing it through just water. Just through scrubbing it through water, water, you know. And nobody can say to us, well, well the hydrogen from the oxygen, the, the hydrogen that's in the water may have attached itself into it. Mm. That's ridiculous. Mm. But it's, I mean, it's not, we're not, we're not, it's not proof of anything. Mm. But it is indicative. Well, it does, it does indicate that you can, something can burn a lot cleaner and a lot more effectively. When it's scrubbed, the performance the is performance increased. Is increased, but with relation to pressure, our views of hydrogen just being pressure, we're seeing a lot greater pressure being released mm. when the when the hydrogen gas has been scrubbed, scrubbed. Mm. for well, the, the longer you scrub it, because that the sounded increase like increasing pressure. That sounded like you know you're shaking up your champagne bottle and. Yeah, off goes the cork. Mm. Poof. See what we should do. What we what we what we could do is do that again. Yeah. But keep scrubbing it, and then keep it actually in that bottle. Yeah. And then light it. Oh right. As, yeah. it, as it as it con contracts or whatever. Oh right. Yeah. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because absolutely. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. It's possible it was contracting. I mean, mm. who knows? I mean, I who don't knows? know. Never no. knew. But um, it's interesting stuff. Anyway, yeah. and it does speak volumes, doesn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. of course, because if, like I said, if that was hydrogen gas, which is an element which should be the same wherever you go. Absolutely. Whatever you do to it should be the same, same. Yeah. okay? Because it doesn't really change. What we should see, what we ought to expect here is just um, a difference with the um, impurities or the flame colour. The, the flame, the flame colour. If it was just hydrogen, oh well, yeah, gas, Sorry. it would have just affected the flame colour by scrubbing it. Yeah. Well, they just say it's impurities. Oh well, yeah, don't yeah. they? Yeah. They say it's contamination. But you still got the the yellow. Sorry, they say it's still contamination. Got the yellow. Still got the yellow there, but there's white there. Mm. It's more white but, centered in the middle. That it's boof in but one, one but greater pressure. Yeah, but one thing we have to make sure that we tell people, and that is this gas this pressure these impurities were obtained from the decomposition 
of a steel rod. Of a steel rod. Whereas the bottle before the bottle was before, salt. Was salt, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. So there is but a difference there. There is a difference, but uh, absolutely and because iron iron is would burn with a an orange flame. Iron burns with an orange, orange flame. flame. Steel. Absolutely. Absolutely. But so so there, so you, there go. you go. I mean nothing nothing conclusive, nothing whatever, but you know we only express our opinions, you know. Yeah. It's only our opinions. And when you think about... Um, well, that, that water level has, oh. has risen considerably. Yeah, when you look at the water level. Because that black mark... That black mark... Was, was left a couple of days ago. A couple of... So I've, it's I've risen put it on up. the bottle yeah. a few days before. So it's so risen up that amount. That, that amount. But has it, has it saturated into the water so, or has it been compacted? Contracted. Has it contracted? Has it contracted? Yeah. Because when you think about it, because of the poof... Yeah. That would show to me that it has compacted. Yeah, basically. It wouldn't show to me that it's saturated in water. water. No. Absol That's absolutely. That's yeah. gases can't dissolve in water. Well, we know gases can't dissolve. Gases have to become a liquid, liquid. only then to saturate into water, water. another liquid. Yeah. Oh, and, anyway, and, and um, if it's a water vapor, uh, water vapor can dissolve in water. Absolutely. But anyway, oh so look, we're, look, we've we've nearly we've we're we're out of time. Out of time. Out of time, baby. We're out of time. We're out of touch. Do, 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 do. We're out of time. We're out of touch. Do, 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 do. Oh, it'll be Valentine's do, Day soon do, 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 for you, baby do, do, do. people. Don't absolutely. To buy your loved ones a nice little card. <clears throat> absolutely. Even if you don't love them, still buy yeah. them something just yeah. to make them think. Yeah, only think. that they care that you, you care, care about, about them. them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thanks ever so much for so watching. So they're not going to leave you and want a divorce and take half your half your life's work. Absolutely. Half, take half of your life away work from you absolutely. and leave you destitute on the streets. streets. Yeah. Being cold in winter time. time absolutely. Walking the streets with nothing. nothing. Absolutely. Yeah. Having oh, to go. World, having to travel three hundred miles yeah. just to see your kids. Absolutely. That's a cruel world, isn't it? No but, people can be cruel. Sorry, yeah, but but they don't give you a proper education on the real things that are really important to people's lives. Absolutely, of course. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. When everyone's been through all of the shit and realised that... That, that, that we that, can't that, go that, on with that. We can't go on like this. Look, nothing... We've been around for 3,000 3, years. years yeah. Look, Nothing's people changing. are still acting the same. same yeah. We've got to change. change yeah. How long Something's got to happen. Take? Absolutely. Anyway. anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. And always remember, till next time, if something doesn't make sense, like... Like water being hydrogen and oxygen. Absolutely, of course. Or ever thinking that um, you can um, get your get water from the canal or water, salt water. and sea you water. can Sea water. And you can split the water to produce hydrogen. Yeah, when you can't do it in clean water. Absolutely, of course. And if you ever think that uh, when you leach materials, that they'll be a lot softer oh, because right. they've been exposed to water. Yeah, so next time you see a cement mixer, it's going around, around, around. Absolutely. All you can see from that is happening is that it's leaching that cement. It's leaching. The cement's being leached. That concrete. Absolutely, leached, of being course. Being leached. Absolutely. And if you ever think that... Um, if you ever think that... Uh, did we mention about the calcium hydroxide being un unreactive? Div it's unprocessed. Div yeah. Oh, we may have done. As opposed to other hydroxides, like sodium hydroxide. Oh, well, we can mention it next time. No, we'll mention next it next time. time. Absolutely, of course. And if you ever think hydrogen is a gas. Gas, mm. in our opinion. Uh, in our opinion, yeah, yeah, sure. It, yeah, it's all rubbish. Absolutely. It's all rubbish. Rubbish. Absolutely. So thanks ever so much, and we'll see you see next, next time. time. Okay. Bye. 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 The Earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat everywhere, it's flat.